welcome back. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I thought I'd film my January favourites today and in honesty, I'm not loving that many new products. So I found this a little bit more difficult to pull things together, but I still found a good amount of things to show you, of things that I've been using a lot more this month and what I'm really, really liking really. Let's get started with beauty products. So first thing is the new collection from Real Techniques, the Bold Metals collection. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere, all over Instagram and all over YouTube already. And in fact, I used a few of the brushes in my last drugstore makeup tutorial, if you saw that, and you'll have seen which ones I was using. And there are seven brushes in the collection and I wanted to just show you four because these are four that I would really, really recommend. So I'd probably say my favourite one, as well if you read my blog post on inthefro.com you'll also know what I'm about to say. But my favourite one is probably this one and it's the 200 Oval Shadow Brush. By the way, these all have makeup on them because I use them today. Um, but this is the Oval Shadow Brush. It's quite a large um, brush head so it completely fills your eyelid and can just quickly sweep colour of the top. So I use that one the most. 300 domed blush brush I think it's called I'm not sure but this is the blush um beautiful almost like heart shaped dome shape to it and it's just really cute for kind of adding a little bit of color onto the edge of your cheeks but as it's quite compacted the bristles you just got to make sure that you tap off any excess before you go and do that or else you'll have very very pink cheeks for those of us who like to contour a lot, I know that I do, if you really like to contour and you do find it quite difficult to get the right kind of shape, this is really great. Again, it's really compacted, so if you just dab a little bit of bronzer or whatever contour shade you use and put it onto your cheeks, you'll get a really defined contour. So then I often use another brush to kind of blend that all in, or you can use this as well. This brush is just really simple and easy for applying contour. You can't really go wrong with it. And lastly, I also really like the 202, I think this is a liner brush. It's just very, very tiny. You could probably use this for eyebrows, but I use it for eyeliner and just getting really into the eyelashes and forming a really lovely uh, cat eye. And again, I use this in my last drugstore tutorial to create a lovely sort of powder eyeshadow eyeliner look. So of the seven brushes that have come out, they're all beautiful, but these are the ones that I would highly recommend and that I really, really love to use. So I'll leave the blog post link down below as well if you'd like a little bit more info. Moving on to more beauty, I thought I would mention the Body Shop Chamomile cleansing butter. As you know, I like my waterproof mascaras and therefore I need waterproof eye makeup removers and they can be a little bit more expensive and I found that I actually ran out recently and I delved around in all of my different cupboards to find some more eye makeup remover and I came across this again that I'd had for a while. I have two tubs of this and I'm still going through the first one. I'm just nearly finishing it actually. But it's just a lovely, almost waxy, petroleum jelly almost feeling to it. Um, but it works wonders and I didn't think this would work that much on waterproof eye makeup remover and actually it really really does. I just take a large cotton pad, dip it into this, get quite a lot of product and just really work it into the eyelashes and it pulls everything away. So this is a really beautiful product. So many of you have recommended this foundation to me and I always kept putting it off buying it because it's quite pricey and I wasn't sure what shade to use until I finally managed to pick it up and it's a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have this in shade four and it's the perfect shade for me. It reminds me very much of NARS Sheer Glow Doville, which again, I absolutely love. So I've been using this, really, really enjoying using it. It is, again, I think the consistency and the texture of it, again, is very similar to NARS Sheer Glow. So if you're a big fan of that, then you'll probably be a big fan of this as well. Similar kind of coverage, medium coverage, quite buildable. You can definitely build this up to a much higher coverage if you want to, but it's nothing cakey. It does quite have a nice luminous radiance about it. Nothing overly dewy and nothing too matte. It's sort of that middle ground. So as a new foundation, I am really enjoying this this month. And the last beauty product I'm gonna mention is this from Ico, and it's the I Do Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm pretty sure that this is part of the Alexa Chung range, I think. Um, but I've always been a big fan of the Ico eyeliners, as you probably will know from a lot of my other favorites videos. And I recently got my hands on this new one. And I, the thing I really like about it is that the nib is a little bit thicker. It literally does look like a Sharpie. And I'm just finding, because it's so pointed at the end, you can get such a beautiful cat eye flick whilst also filling in the eyelashes with much more black and just creating a really perfect cat eye. So I'm finding it's just super easy, super simple to use and does exactly what I want it to do. It doesn't flake and it's also waterproof so it'll stay put all day. So this is a big, big recommendation this month. 
I'm going to move on to clothing. So many of you have been asking me to do more clothing things and I'm so sorry. It's just with moving and moving everything in and whatnot and organizing all of my clothes, I haven't gotten around to doing a new clothing haul. And in fact, I've only recently started buying more and more clothes. So that is definitely coming more clothing bits um, and more lookbooks are definitely on the way. So I'm so sorry that they've taken so long to arrive. However, I have four things here to show you that are more clothing related. First thing is my new Daniel Wellington watch. I think this one is the Bristol watch. It's got a lot, it's really hard to show you when it's on. It's got a large brown uh, leather strap. It's got rose gold hardware. And it's just quite a simple style watch, but I'm loving it at the moment, just something a bit different, because I often go for metal strap watches, so a nice leather strap is a nice change for me. Next up is a pair of sunnies that I am absolutely in love with at the moment. I wore these today to a meeting, looking like a cool dude. Love them. They're club masters, and I also have these, you might have seen, I have some with purple insides, and what colour are they? I can't even know. Purple? Yeah, I think they're purple sides. Um, but these are the fully black club masters with gold um, hardware, I guess, all over them. And almost like green tint, black tint frames. They're just really, really cool sunglasses. And we are off to, well, me and Alex are off to Florida tomorrow um, for holiday. So these will be amazing for it. But I'll also probably be wearing these for fashion week if the sun decides to come out. They're just so cool. I think that Wayfarers, I love my Wayfarers as well, but there's something about Clubmasters that's just so chic and, I don't know, something quite retro about them, so I love those. Next up is a purchase I made from the Outnet, actually. Never bought from the Outnet before, but I was on there and really liking what they had on there, and I really wanted a new pair of shoes. So I found some from Pour les Victoires. Pour les Victoires. I think that's probably what it is. I really, really like these. I think they're so classy and chic and elegant. What are they called? Let's see what these are called. The Zany. These are the Zany leather pumps. So they have a completely closed toe, pointed toe, and it goes up in this leather strap across the middle, around the sides, and then it up the ankle, and it has a zip up the back as well. And I just really like the fact that it's got this sort of half split heel with the silver section. Um, nothing too high in terms of heel height and wearing them they're actually super comfortable especially because you've got all of your ankle um, kept in um, and secure inside the shoe it always makes you feel a little bit more safe and much more comfortable I find if your ankle is kept inside so these are the shoes and I haven't yet worn them, I'm just waiting for the right dress to wear them with. But they're definitely going to make an appearance at London Fashion Week when I start putting my outfits together. I think they'll look really chic, they'll be quite comfortable for me to wear around because Fashion Week can get pretty uncomfortable. And also I really like this little symbol they have, this almost like a bow and arrow symbol for the brand. It's cute, it's just on the very very bottom of the shoes. So those are some new shoes, love those. And I've saved the very very best until last and it is something that I went on about on my Twitter for a few days and people were like, you have to buy it, you have to buy it because it was in sale. So I finally picked it up, something that I've wanted for so long and it's my new Victoria Beckham dress. It's so cute and I might take it to Florida with me. Is that gonna be a bad idea? I don't know, maybe not. I might save it, I'm gonna save it definitely for Fashion Week. This is something that will be coming out in Fashion Week. Um, but it's not too short, which is quite nice. It's not too short whatsoever. It could probably look quite nice with those um, Paul Le Voutoir pumps that I've just bought. But it's so pretty. It has a zip up the back, brochet, knitted um, fabric. And then it has these wraps over both sides that sort of come over like little wraps, just to add a little bit more texture and shape to the dress. This, I had to get this in a size eight because the size six had sold out, and I think they must do size six, they must do. But it's sold out, and there's only one size eight left, and I got it in sale, so it was reduced by about 75%. And this was from Coggles, I didn't mention that. It's from Coggles, and it had about 75% off. And I managed to get the last size eight because I had to. Now it fits me, fits me okay but I feel like it could be a little bit more cinched in so in that case I think I'm just gonna wear a little belt with it so perfectly fine and I love it so much I'll try and leave a link below to somewhere else that you might be able to get this um, because it is so pretty it's got a little Victoria Beckham logo inside stitched in 
and I just can't wait to wear it. So this has been my favourite purchase of the month for definite. Marks out was for beauty, for fashion. I guess I'll also mention the fact that I absolutely love this too. I bought this from Zara in the sale. It was £20 reduced from £40 I think and it's one of those really cool long length um, knitted dresses. Well, it's actually meant to be a knitted jumper, but I got it in the medium, so it's really oversized. And I've been wearing this just with long over knee boots, and it looks super cute. You might have seen it again on my Instagram. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter, by the way, to catch up on all these things that I've been talking about, then just look for me as in the throw. And that's everything for January. Um, I did manage to find just enough things there, actually. I thought I'd have a bit less. But yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed that. What have you been loving for January? Let me know down below. We'd like to hear what you've been loving. If you enjoyed the video, then please do give it a like and subscribe if you're new. That would be amazing. And if that's the case, then I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah!